All right, hey everybody. Um, I am here with Jeppy and Kyra and Mr. Uh, Mrs. Stormy, our uh, parent, <laughs> will be somewhere in the back. And uh, just give me a second to pull everything up and we will begin. Do, do, do. Okay. So, do, 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 do. I had it pulled up. All right. So, can you see the uh, presentation? Yeah. Cool beans. I think that's the quickest I ever got it up during a live <laughs> Getting good. So, since I have it up, I can't see, so I always pull it up on my phone. Um, this is my old doggy, and he has to come join me now. I'm knocking over my stuff, man. All right, pages. Let's see if I'm on my Sarkor page. Yeah, I know. Here we are. Okay. Okay. All righty. Let's see. Do we have anybody live with us? We have two people with us so far. Hello, you guys. So this is going to be a really fun event. You're going to hate it if you miss it. Because we have a parrot that picks names and prizes and, of course, trivia. So be sure to tune in share. Um, but if you want to participate, make sure that you're commenting on this live stream so I can know that you're here. But well, let's get started. Uh, we got a couple of people in, a few. Um, of course, keep records. We're going to try to keep records today, too, since we're offering prizes. So you can grade yourself on your sarcoid knowledge. All right. All right, Jeppy, what do you think? <laughs> True or false? No oh, two snowflakes are alike. Uh, true. Okay, let's see what our followers say. Do, do, do. I don't see any comments yet. I'm waiting for comments, you guys, so you might as well put in true or false. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got Wendy says true. All right, so Wendy, let's see. Uh, wait a minute. The answer is actually false. Ooh, I was gonna give away, I thought this. Okay, anyways, if you, okay, so I was watching an episode of uh, Adam Ruins Everything and I learned this. <laughs> It says, if, uh, and then I Googled it and I found out the similar information. I found this. It says, if you compare snow crystals at the early stages of formation before they've had the chance to branch out much, the uh, odds that two of them might look alike is high. Snow scientist John Nelson at, yes, that art Ritism <laughs> University in Kotio, Japan, says snowflakes get between 8.6 Fahrenheit or 12.2 Fahrenheit, maintain these simple structures for a long time and could fall to earth where it would be hard to tell them apart just by looking at them. But Wendy, since you were the first person to comment, um, you're, you got an advantage. So the first person to type purple snowflake in the chat wins two purple decorative snowflakes. So go ahead and type fast, purple snowflake. All right, well, it's Wendy, I wanted to give it to you because at least you answered. So <laughs> Wendy, Wendy S. Gar, look, this is what you want to write down here, you guys. Uh, Kyra, um, purple snowflakes go to her. Purple snow. 
Um, and guess what? Wendy, you get to pick a friend from the chat to also win your same prize. Do oh, you know wow. anybody else in the chat that you can uh, share your prize with? <clears throat> if not now, just let us know later. Hi, Michelle. Now, anybody want to send your, uh, you know, you still get yours, don't worry. <laughs> but you also be able to pick a friend to give uh, the same prize to, and they'll get two of the decorative purple snowflakes that can be used as like uh, Christmas tree ornaments. You can't see the other names in the chat. Well, hmm. There's not many, <laughs> I'll give you that. Right now, uh, it looks like just like you, Nichelle, and uh, you are chatting right now. Okay. Well, do you have a friend that you think, you know what, just keep hold on to that. And uh, when we get done, I'm gonna have you message me on the page. And uh, if you have anybody that you would like to refer, we'll just take care of it then, okay? All right, so let's get to the next one. <clears throat> <laughs> let's share with Michelle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Michelle, who? What's Michelle's last name? If you don't mind sharing. Uh, looks like Delgado. Well, just, just message me when we're done. Is it Stag? Because I know Michelle Stag. But uh, just message me after we're done. Oh, Michelle. You're talking about Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Michelle. Michelle Delgado, which means thin, I believe, in Spanish. Alrighty. So, Michelle and Wendy get the purple snowflakes. Okay, so next. Sarcoidosis is a condition that develops when groups of cells in your immune system form lumps called A, tissues, B, organs, C, granulomas, or D, cancers? We got you, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Wendy says C. Michelle. C is the correct answer, granulomas. According to the Mayo Clinic, sarcoidosis is a disease characterized by the growth of tiny collections of inflammatory cells, granulomas, in any part of your body, most commonly in the lungs and lymph nodes. And I'm odd because I don't have it in my lungs, but I have it in my central nervous system. <clears throat> Alrighty. So foods you shouldn't eat, <laughs> which is never fun. Okay. And other things to avoid if you have sarcoidosis include A, refined grains, B, vegetables, C, corn syrup. I got A from Michelle, C from Wendy. Let's see what the correct answer is. According to the Cleveland Clinic, it's actually that grain one. I didn't put the letter. So A, um, according to the Cleveland Clinic, foods you shouldn't eat and other things to avoid if you have sarcoidosis include, uh, includes refraining from eating foods with refined grains, such as white bread, pasta, Avoid foods with trans fatty acids, such as commercially processed baked goods, French fries, and margarine. Now, if you don't want to eat a donut, I don't know what you're going to do because <laughs> that's, 
There's so many things with those are ingredients are delicious. <laughs> I don't know. It's so hard. <laughs> All right. Ah, Ray, it's time for another giveaway. Uh, let's see what we're giving away. Oh, yeah, this is time for Stormy. See, look, this is not a picture of Stormy, but it looks just like Stormy. <laughs> uh, Stormy the parrot will choose the winner of the autograph film poster. So can you reach into your bowl there, Stormy? Mix it up. If she mix it up. She'll... <clears throat> She's ready. Pick one. Pick one. All right, I know it's cheap. It again. Sorry. No, come yeah. on, pick, pick a yeah, come on. She's picky. <laughs> okay, that one. Thank you. Let go. Let go. Let go. You need it. Let go. Let go. Okay. Shamanda where's your mouth? Shamanda Burston. Burston. Burston? Yeah. Yeah, I know her. Shamanda Burston. Poster. It's for the autograph film poster. Yeah. And uh I doubt that she's joining us live, but I know who that is. But um, so next I was gonna say that the winner could pick her friend to also win the same prize. But since Shamanda's not joining us live, how about Stormy picks one more name for the autograph poster? Okay, pick another one. <laughs> I think you have two. Let go. I know so much fun, huh? Hello, Bryant. Two. Oh, I just let her pick one of the two. Okay. One. Okay, that one. I know. Thank you. <laughs> uh, James Goodlow. James Goodlow. All right, so James Goodlow and Shamanda Burston uh, get the autograph film posters. Congratulations. Okay, so next question up to blank percent. <laughs> of sarcoidosis patients develop, develop fibrotic lung disease? Is it A, 45%, B, 5%, C, 80%, or D, 20%? Oh, I don't even know the answer to that one. <laughs> uh, you get a film poster. Okay, so we got a C and a D. Let's see, the answer is D, 20%. According to PubMed, sarcoidosis is a systemic inflammatory disease with a predilection for the respiratory system. Although most patients enter remission and have good long out, long term outcomes, I wish I was one of them. Up to twenty percent develop fibrotic lung disease, whereby granulomatous inflammation involves into pulmonary fibrosis. Wow, mm, she had. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Michelle, did she get? Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, well, don't worry about that one. We were not given a prize after that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so question. Sarcoidosis is an autoimmune disease. True or false? It depends on who you talk to. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a, okay. Hey, okay, so let's see. Who? What do you think? Me? You guys, chime in. Oh. We got a false. F2. So, true, true. The answer is false, and that's Wendy again. Wendy's on a roll. Um, 
according to raredisease.info, sarcoidosis is an inflammatory disease characterized by the development and growth of tiny lumps of cells called granulomas. Uh, originally, I think years ago, they did suspect it to be an autoimmune disease, but more recently, um, it's been characterized as an inflammatory disease, which is also what cancer is. So, just so you know, so we can all be on the same page when we describe this thing. Um, Wendy, she answered false and since she was the first person I saw in the chat with the correct answer, Wendy gets a $10 Amazon gift card. Oh. Well, go, Wendy. It's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so you get $10 Amazon. All right. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's why I always, uh, Wendy said she thought it was until recently. A lot of people do, and it's confusing when we as a group try to uh, advocate and we're all saying different things. That's why like every trivia show, that question is in there. Like we all need to know that it's now characterized as an inflammatory disease, yeah. not an autoimmune disease. It does have an auto, it causes an autoimmune response, but it's an inflammatory disease. Yeah, yeah, what Wendy's saying, I, I've read that too. Yeah. That yeah. Sarcoidosis patients are prone to cancers. Cancer, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all we need. <laughs> uh, well, actually, that's that's all my questions, but we still have, uh, I thought I put a slide in for something else. Okay, so we still need to choose the helicopter drone winner. So if uh, Stormy can reach into the bowl and select the helicopter drone winner. I was gonna say mix it up real quick. Give a good mix. Ooh, got a couple fell out. <laughs> well, I hope don't do this. <laughs> All right. You can't take so many. Don't want them all. <laughs> Okay, now you got to pick from these because you pulled blood out. <laughs> okay. Here, just whichever way. Okay. Let me see it. Thank you. This is Bridget Bezco. Bridget Bezco. Bezco. Let me write that down. I don't think Bridget's with us tonight, but she's uh, donated to our GoFundMe. Yeah. Bezco. And um, we also have the Blu-ray player, is that correct? Yeah, Blu-ray player. All right, so let's do that, the Blu-ray disc player. And give another good mix-up. <laughs> She's excited. She's ready to draw. Ready? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> you got to pick one. No, not the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Take one. The suspense. <laughs> Who wants to play with the bowl? Here, oh, here, here. Afterwards. <laughs> We're almost done, Stormy. You can play with the bowl after. Go ahead. You got one more. Oh, there's one more. Please pick one. Hey. Yeah, working with animals. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Oh, be a good girl. Pick one. No, I know. Sorry. Let me do this. Daddy's going to do it. See? Paper. Pick a paper. Come on. Pick a paper. Come on. Pick one. One. Well, I hey, guess doing, I can. You're not doing your job. <laughs> you're not doing your job. I guess you can pick one. <laughs> well, I have her try one more time. Pick one. Okay. 
Oh, she just wanted to play with the ball. <laughs> uh, she wants to play with the ball. Just one more. You can play with the ball. Okay, go, just go ahead and draw, draw one. But she just wanted to play with the ball. <laughs> His balls are fascinating. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lucky winner for the Blu ray. Marcy Brody. Marcy Brody. Okay. Yeah. So I believe that's all of our prizes for tonight. And uh, if you've been keeping score on how many got correct, well, this is kind of off because I didn't have as many questions tonight, but you're all proud warriors and knowledgeable warriors. So, um, oh, yeah, I was going to do this. The Sarkardosis Sarka What shirt giveaway. Um, oh. The first person who types Sarkardosis in the chat wins this. So go. <laughs> it won't be pink necessarily. I'll let you choose your color. Wendy, <laughs> they're gonna be mad that they didn't tune in, Wendy, because you're gonna like be taking everything home. <laughs> so Wendy was the first person I saw, so she's getting the shirt too. Andrina, I was gonna ask you the mm -hmm. uh, purple snowflakes. Since we yeah. only have three people in here, it looks like uh, uh, Michelle and Wendy getting snowflakes. Did you want to? Yeah. So uh, give to Brian Michelle, now. Wendy, and Bryant Moses. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go ahead and give um, them a couple? Y'all are getting purple snowflakes. Marcy. And oh yeah, Marcy Shea. Bridget. And these are James. 3D printed snowflakes. They're purple and they're printed out of like a silk plastic. So they're kind of shiny. They'll be really cute nice. on the Christmas tree or if you scrapbook or something. And if you can rear view mirror your car. Right. Like if you put it in mirror and you see it every day, like, yeah, I'm a purple snowflake. <laughs> okay. So we got Bryant. All I can see are the people who are actually chatting right now. Nichelle. Mm, oh. The people that won this stuff too, but aren't. Wendy. No, what, what they have is what they want. Okay, so those are. Okay, so. Oh, looks like oh, we got. Thank you, Timothy. <laughs> Timothy's in there too. So we can put Timothy on time? it. Timothy's down. Yeah, we'll put. We'll give Timothy uh, two purple snowflakes also. <laughs> so. As well. All righty, so well, this is oh, actually yeah. Brenda in there too. Oh, look, like, they're about to come here too. <laughs> this miracle. Yeah, <laughs> I have Brenda. So, uh, so Timothy, Brenda, Michelle, Wendy, Bryant. Um, I think those are all of our winners. Yeah. Besides yeah, Bridget Besco, Shamanda, and James yeah, Goodwill. Sure. Purple snowflakes. Oh. And then Message I'm gonna put a, me we'll put a little hoop on, on the Sarcoid Awareness film page so I can get your mailing addresses and uh, get this out to you. And that's actually all I have for to for tonight. You know, people are gonna be so mad that they missed this. Yeah. I guess it's the holidays or whatever, but um, we only have on our GoFundMe campaign we send the money to make our documentary. We only have four more days. Like the thirtieth is the last day that um, we're gonna have it open. It's time to kind of just focus on other things now and get uh, really into the post production process. So if you uh, feel it in your heart to contribute anything between now and then, uh, keep in mind that your donations are tax deductible and we are offering perks, which do include anything from having your names in the final credit of the film for like 10 bucks, uh, a virtual invite to the premiere 
for like 20 or 25 bucks and autograph film posters and even up to an executive producer credit. So um, be sure when you go to sarcoidawarenessfilm.info to check out the story part of our uh, campaign page to see all the perks that we have and that we're offering. So thank you all for spending your Black Friday night with us. Uh, can we get a close up of Stormy? Everybody was like, Stormy's so cute. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let me see if I can. I want her to talk. Talk oh, to her Stormy. Talk. Say bye bye. Come on. Bye bye, Stormy. <laughs> Did you see her? Hi, Stormy. Yeah. Oh, what y'all doing? Let's start with the bowl and all these questions. <laughs> That's what you did. So, that was your job. You did a good job, Stormy. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> She's trying to act big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everybody, well, bye, Stormy. Thank you so much, Jeppy, for everything that you've done. No problem. Um, thank you, Kyra. Oh, you're welcome. All righty. So Y'all have a great night. You too. You did a good job. Bye. You did? <laughs> oh, no, she's talking. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, scratchies? Really?